Hello and welcome back to Choice Bits of Bliss. My name is Scylla. We are in 30 days of sketches. This is going to be my day 11 through 17 layout share. And let's just get into it. For day 11, I took the the torn paper design quite literally but i was inspired by mora on her day 11 because she used stencils and when i watched her video i saw what she had done and i thought she had stamped it so i thought yep this is time for me to break out my stamps and i finished watching mora's video and realized she did the stencil and it's beautiful I love what she created, but she totally inspired me to do something that I normally would not have done because I tend to go for uh, quicker solutions when I'm doing 30 days of sketches just because of time, time constraints. But because her layout seemed doable and easy, it inspired me to go ahead and dig into my supplies. Now, if you've been following me any at all, you know I've been in a some form of reorganization and purging, cleaning up, cleaning out since January of this year. So we're in six months of this. And I'm constantly tweaking. That's something that's going to happen probably for the rest of my life, as long as I am in this hobby because supplies come in, I'm using things, I need to arrange what's coming in, I need to arrange what I already have, I need to arrange what I have used. <laughs> it's just part of this hobby. And I've had to come to accept that and it's not been the easiest thing for my, uh, I tend to have a very structured literal brain and that kind of ebb and flow is not always easy for me to accept but I'm getting better at it that was a wild tangent to just simply mention that my stamping supplies are now my tools are behind me so it's very easy to reach and it's it's not this arduous task to go get my stamps go get my stamp block get my ink it's very easy now so uh, this was not difficult for me to do I stamped a uh, collage stamp first and then I did kind of a lace stamp on top of that two different colors and I just started layering to create a background for Microbura daisies that is my absolute favorite flower I love flowers but there's something about Gabura daisies that always make me happy just looking at the blooms make me so happy. Day 12, this is my grand kitty. My oldest son has two cats and uh, my youngest son had shared some photos of his cat. So I took these and once again, went by the, the layout quite literally. the sketch I'm sorry I keep saying layout the sketch and day 13 I am not finished with this layout there's there's more decorating to be done but this is a photo of myself and my great niece we were at Thanksgiving and I she was allowing me to cuddle her so like I said I have more to do on this but I wanted to share something with you uh, this here is adhesive this is before washi came out it is adhesive paper ribbon and it, ribbon and it was by k and company this is old 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 and this is the first time i ever used it i love that so now that i've kind of broken it out and started using it i keep making excuses to use it oh one one other two other things the papers for this layout. This is Scenic Root and Making Memories, companies that are no longer here. <laughs> and 
and everything a lot on that layout it's just very old okay moving on moving on day 14 this is a two-page layout and surprise surprise I actually did a two-page layout now this paper all of this paper except for the gingham was gifted to me oh and except for my mats here was gifted to me by uh, Jenny Kozar and I when I saw it it immediately made me think about these photos because this is all very recent my mother-in-law uh, came down and stayed with us for a bit and uh, she wanted to be useful and to do some things around the house I'm not great at flower decorating <laughs> I guess we could say that is not my gift and she said oh I'll do it so I had these planters and she designed my planters we went shopping for the flowers and she also made me some hanging baskets so I love 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 and then I after she had gone home of course she the hanging baskets were done right before she went home so I sent her this photo to show her our hanging lights on the our entryway how that looked it's so pretty so there we go a two-page layout in the books day 15 this layout started a I went way 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 down a rabbit hole way down a rabbit hole so I was thinking about let's talk about the layout for the sketch first so I was looking at the sketch and what inspired me was this quilt design and I thought okay I know I have a pink fresh paper that looks like a, a quilt design I need to get it out now I know where my pink fresh collections are because that's one of the collections or manufacturers I've chosen to limit how much comes into my inventory because uh, it's a little on the pricier side and I typically only buy what I just can't live without or you know I love it so much I want to have it so I knew where this was but I found it I put it on my table and I started thinking I don't always know where my collections are and it started bothering me so I decided <laughs> to spend two days two whole days this week the person that's behind by the way I just I chose to spend my time tearing out all my collections and putting them in alphabetical order by manufacturer because you know I have all the time in the world apparently I'm happy it's done I love it I absolutely love it but like this I could have chosen a better time to do that but you, you know I, you know something gets on my brain and I just have to do it anyway anyway I finally got to creating this layout and this is years ago when I was had chosen to go get my uh, nails done and I got a pedicure and the blue is kind of in this so I thought it was you know just kind of taking care of myself okay moving on to day 16 the thing that inspired me about this sketch was the okay on her layout it's kind of like a heel uh, there's a playground up here and so I thought once again with my pink fresh papers I knew there was a rainbow and I just pulled it out and the the saying on this rainbow inspired me to pull this photo it says this is only a passing thing a new day will come and when the Sun shines it will shine much greater so in the town that I was postmaster of before I came to New York there was a nursing home and they would get the residents to paint these rocks now this was not a long-term project it was just a project that they did they painted these rocks and then the employees of the nursing home would leave these rocks in random places in our town this one this rock was left uh, by our blue box our mail drop box 
and I took a picture of it. It says, even the darkest nights will end and the sun will rise. This was years before COVID, years before COVID. And it applies to so many areas of our life. But this collection came out during COVID. And I thought this just went really, really good together because of the encouragement that, you know, that saying, this too shall pass. It's true. The, the hard things that we go through, eventually it passes. And my final layout for this week, day 17. This is pink fresh paper. And even though it's a very soft color, it's a strong graphic design. And I was inspired by the strong graphic arrow, you know, the triangle point there. But I had gotten this tape by 49 and Market, this, is, this washi tape, and it stitches. There's green, black, yeah, just green and black. And it's just different kinds of stitches. Some of it's on white background, some of it's on black background. I stink and love this tape. So instead of stitching, I just used the washi on the seam and it just disappears. All you can see is the stitching. And I'm going to tell you right now, if I come across another box of this, I'm buying it because I love it. I love it that much. I don't want to, I don't want to run out of it because when you want that stitch look and you don't have time to sit down at the sewing machine, this is a fantastic fix. I love it. So that was what inspired me about this sketch. This is just, I wanted the softness because this was a really hazy morning. I was going to work and the sun was coming through the trees. There was a little bit of mist and kind of fog in the backyard. And of course my dogwood, my pink dogwood was blooming. And I just loved what light was coming through on the leaves and on the petals. Love that. It just, you know, one of those happy sighs and you head off to work to deal with the rest of life. <laughs> But I am surrounded by beautiful things and I take photos of it to remind me that there is so, so much to be thankful for and there is so much good in my, my life. Okay, friends, that is the end of this week and this share. Thank you for joining me. Thank you so much to Christy at Christy's Beautiful Life for always creating a stellar um, hop challenge share whatever you want to call this that we can all participate in and be inspired by our friends it is such a good good thing and if you are so inclined to join in on a challenge this is a great one to join in on we are going to close out this week. Thank you for joining me once again. We will chat again soon. Bye-bye.